Sustainability of the foods we eat is a hot topic these days, and one place you'll often see a sustainable food chain in action is the hustle and bustle of your local fish market. I'm here with my friend and chef, Paul Brahini, and the FRDC featured species this week is the mighty kingfish. Now, Paul, I love the pulling power of these incredible sport fish. How do you like to cook them? Well, today, Andrew, what I'm going to do is an absolutely beautiful product that we've got here from the fish markets. What I'm going to do with it is actually cure it in citrus, and I'm serving that with some baby herbs. Well, while you're curing the kingfish, let's find out more about this powerful species. The yellowtail kingfish, Cereola lalandi, is known to be a highly mobile and wide-ranging species, with distribution throughout temperate waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. OK, so it's time to slice the kingfish. A good sharp knife always helps and basically what we do is we take a long strokes all the way through. It's fished commercially from Queensland through New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania and South Australia, around to southern Western Australia in the Commonwealth waters further away from the coast. What actually cures this kingfish is the lime juice, the citric acid. So I'm going to take the juice of one lime and squeeze it into the bowl. The eastern catch, led by New South Wales, outweighs the western by a factor of well over 100 to 1. Now I'm going to add some olive oil. There's insufficient data to classify either the east or west stocks as anything other than undefined. However, New South Wales information indicates kingfish are unlikely to be growth overfished in their waters, despite increasing the minimum legal length from 60 to 65 centimetres in 2007. A teaspoonful of sugar. The stocks are being looked at again this year, so we hope to know more soon. And again, referring to New South Wales data, long-term game fish tagging shows kingfish caught in Blues Territory being re-caught in Queensland and as far away as New Zealand. So what I did a little bit earlier, I took some uh, limes and oranges and I segmented them into small little cubes. So basically what we've got there is we've got some sweetness, some sour, I want a little bit of saltiness from the row. And this is going to be like a, a flavour explosion in your mouth. Carefully put the citrus on, so we just mix it up. You don't have to be worried about it too much because you just never know what they're going to get. So the next thing I'm going to add is a little bit of eschalot, not too much. Then I'm just going to top with a little bit of sorrel. So now I'm just going to semi-cure with our dressing of lime, olive oil and sugar. So there you go, Andrew. What do you think, mate? Oh, Paul, this dish looks superb. For more facts and figures on kingfish, go to fish.gov.au or visit fishfiles.com.au for loads of nutritional information, serving ideas and recipes. Or visit the Escape With ET website for Paul's citrus-cured kingfish.